Hello watch fans! Berth Year Watch is here and this time for you I have a rather interesting 1938 JW Benson watch. Now this is a tank design, it's quite slender, it's with 9 karat gold, but the interesting bit gets when you look at the case back. You've got four screws into the lugs and they screw down at an angle, these grub screws, and hold the case together. This is called a clamshell design and it was only patented two years before this watch was made. So we know that the movement is made by Symer. Uh, this was before the JW Benson workshops were ruined in the Blitz of London. They never made their own movements after that, but this was actually one they bought in before. Uh, the case has a slight kink in the side here where it's possible that someone that didn't know that this is a clamshell design tried to lever the back off. Silly boy. That would probably bend straight in with the tap of a hammer, but I'm not a goldsmith. And I don't like going hitting watch cases with hammers because I'm not a goldsmith. The original dial is all radium. The hands look later. They've either been refilled with a different loom. They don't think it's radium in the hands. We have tested it with our Geiger counter, uh, but I don't think these are radium in the hands. It's been done at a different time. They may even be replacement hands. We don't have the original documents for the watch. So we're just pointing that out. Uh, it's a fixed lug design. Of, so you can see these lugs here. You can't, these are not spring bars. These are made of gold as well. But these straps here that have got the bent metal, make these very easy to change straps. Looks good on my wrist, even though I'm a big guy, because it's quite a long watch. It's more reminiscent of, this is probably what Frank Muller was aiming at when they did their curved cases. And I think this is a really, really good watch. It's all ticking and working nicely. Nothing to be frightened of. The glass is good, there's no chips on this acrylic crystal and everything screws together. These screws all are loose. Sometimes with these, they don't get moved for years and they seize, not the case here. We've got photos of the watch stripped apart just to prove that. And you can see those photos if you head to berthierwatches.com. The easiest way is to click the link in the pinned comment and that'll take you straight there. Thanks for watching. Don't miss out on this one because we're not likely to find another one. Uh, if you like this, you will kick yourself if it goes before you've bought it. Thanks again.